So yesterday, Macari announced that they're going to be offering 0% seller fees amongst a few other changes to their platform. And in my opinion, I think this is going to be an amazing opportunity for online resellers out there because as we all know, most platforms out there, including StockX and Goat and even eBay have been increasing their fees. And now Macari has made such a huge change into offering 0% fees for sellers. I think this is just going to be a great opportunity and it's going to disrupt the entire online reselling industry industry. So if you guys aren't selling on Macari currently, I'm going to give you guys three reasons as to why I think Macari is going to be one of the biggest reselling platforms in 2024. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let me just break down all of the details to some of the changes that they're going to be making. And first, I'll start off with the sellers. So no more selling fees, sell any item in any category and you can earn more than ever. Also, enjoy zero ACH fees when using your balance to make purchases or withdraw as much of your funds as you wish for just a flat $2 ACH fee. This is also something very similar that GOAT does. They always charge you a fee whenever you want to withdraw your funds. And of course, all of this applies to new and updating listings starting March 27th, 2024. So let's move on to the buyer section now. Uh, zero payment processing fees when using your balance. Uh, shop with confidence, return for any reason and get your money back. Also a quick note on that, they, like they said, you can return for any reason on Macari now. And I know Macari was a very attractive platform for a lot of people because you know you couldn't return items unless it was you, know, you ordered a toaster and somebody sent you a frying pan, of course you could return it. But what Macari is doing now is that uh, you can return for any reason, but you only have three days. And a lot of people, especially if you sell online, you know the industry standard right now is 30 days free returns. Uh, most, most selling platforms do that, especially Amazon and eBay, depending on how you set up your store. So I think with this new uh, return process, only offering buyers three days, I think three days is more than enough time. So I'm not tripping on that. And uh, it's free return shipping as well. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be coming from the seller. But at the end of the day, I think the changes that they've made are going to be really, really good for the industry overall. Because as I mentioned earlier, eBay has a ton of selling fees, uh, roughly between like 13 and 15 percent, depending on the category in which you sell in. Um, as we all know, Poshmark has 20 percent fees. Um, Gold and StockX, their, their fees definitely fluctuate depending on what you're selling as well. But for the most part, the platforms that a lot of us sell on, especially eBay and Poshmark, the fees have become outrageous and eBay even increased their fees as well. So in my opinion, I think what Macari is going to be doing moving forward is that they're definitely going to start shipping away at more market share because although more sellers are going to be slightly frustrated with the return process and those that don't like having to deal with returns might make a shift to eBay. They're also going to be attracting a ton more sellers like myself because they're offering zero fees. Now, the downside to this is that they will be passing on those fees onto onto buyers. So buyers will see an additional, I think it was a 2.9% processing fee. And of course, depending on your purchase price, that can definitely add, you know, a significant amount of money to your purchase price. However, I do think like most changes after about a month, maybe two or three months, people are going to get used to it. The platform is going to get flooded with a ton of sellers and very similar to Poshmark. What I've realized just from my experience, a lot of the same people that sell on Poshmark are a lot of the same people that buy on Poshmark. So for that reason, Macari is going to experience just a huge uptick in terms of sales because there's going to be a ton of new sellers flooding the platform like myself. And we're going to start, you know, scouring the internet, just checking out the different posts. We're going to get suggested different items. And most people, especially one day, if they're not doing this as like a real source of income, if it's just like a side hustle or a hobby, uh, once the money gets deposited into their account and they may see something else that they're interested in, they're just going to use the money that they made from their previous sales and purchase something else that they like. And that's a very similar uh, process to Poshmark. They, it's almost like a recycling, shuffling the deck type of situation on Poshmark. And I think Macari is going to be doing the same exact thing. So the big thing about why I'm going to be making the move to Macari is that it's going to be super simple and easy for me. So for those of you that are not familiar, 
I use a app called Flip and it's F L Y P and the app is nine dollars a month and it allows you to share your closet. Uh, basically, it's like a Poshmark sharing bot, so it shares your closet automatically for you. And you also have the ability to cross list your items uh, to a multiple amount of different uh, marketplaces. So if you have a uh, eBay store, you can cross list your items directly from eBay onto Poshmark, as well as Macari, as well as Depop and Grilled and a ton of other uh, websites out there as well that you can, you know, kind of cross list your items. And for me, I definitely didn't sell a ton of items on Macari. I think I've sold less than 20 and my last Macari sale was actually all the way back in 2021. But now that they've made this new announcement, I know that there's going to be a ton of, you know, just a ton of activity happening on Macari. And for me, I've realized just from my uh, previous experience, anytime that a platform does a bunch of changes or some, you know, something new, something to disrupt the industry, business is gonna be huge at that particular point. I'll give you guys a great example just from my own experience. So as we all know, Poshmark started out as a platform primarily for women to sell their clothing. And eventually they made the shift where they opened up the platform for men's clothing as well as home goods and just a bunch of random other things that you can sell on Poshmark now. However, when I joined the Poshmark app, I joined as soon as they opened up the market so that you can start selling men's clothing. And I was one of the early adopters to sell men's clothing on Poshmark. And because of that, I seen a ton of sales and I was making some really decent money at that particular time. So just from that prior experience, I'm also gonna be making that same type of shift to Macari as well, cross-listing all of my items from eBay onto Macari. And hopefully we can get some decent sales and see some more traction overall, because I'm just a huge proponent of, you know, putting your items in front of more people. For a long time, the only platforms I was really messing with was eBay and Poshmark, mainly because I would sell all of my clothing items on Poshmark and everything else would go on to eBay. And not that I wasn't a fan of Macari at first, I just really wasn't interested in it. And I'm just a firm believer that most items will sell on eBay anyway, as long as you price it correctly. So now that Macari is going to get all of this new attention, I'm definitely just going to try to take full advantage of it. So here's the only kicker to all of the things that I'm saying now. It's going to be super easy for me to just cross list all of my items because I'm going to be using Flip. And if you guys aren't familiar with that, I'll make sure I'll put like a referral link so you guys can check it out and use Flip for 100 days completely free. But after that, it's going to be $9. But for me, I'm just going to take full advantage of that cross listing feature. And in two months or maybe three months, if it doesn't work out and I'm not seeing a real increase in terms of sales, I'll just stop worrying about it and I'll just stick to eBay. So at the end of the day, I think as resellers, we really have nothing to lose when it comes to this, specifically sellers. And from a buying perspective, it does it is going to suck. But at the same time, I thought StockX, I thought GOAT, I even thought eBay and Amazon and all these other platforms, every time they increased fees for buyers or, you know, increased fees for sellers, people would make it seem as if the world is ending and the platform is going to die. But I also think that, you know, after a few months, once people are be, uh, more familiar with the change, that's usually when everything cools down and people just go back to business as usual. So for me, I'm just going to try to jump in and become an early adopter to this whole zero selling fees thing. And I think if you're an online reseller, you should definitely do the same. One thing that I forgot to mention with this new change that Macari is going to be making, pretty sure Macari is going to be putting out a ton of ads, whether it's going to be on different streaming platforms on YouTube, we're going to start seeing a ton of ads again, because there there was a point when I used to see a lot of Poshmark ads. There was a point when I was seeing a lot of eBay ads. I don't see those type of ads as much anymore. And I definitely used to see Macari ads pretty often. You would even see it at like bus stops and airports. And I think with this huge change that they're making, they're going to have to spend a lot of money on marketing and basically try to bring in some new customers to that platform, new, new buyers and new sellers as well. And like I said earlier in the video, most of the time buyers will be sellers and sellers will be buyers. So as long as there's some attention on the app, I think everybody's going to win. But drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Let me know if you're a fan of Macari, if you're already using the platform or if you're going to be like me and somewhat going to jump back on the Macari bandwagon. But drop a comment, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.